Hello there SpyBot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot and in today's video we'll be configuring SpyBot's scheduled tasks. Let's get started with today's tutorial. In licensed editions of SpyBot Plus Antivirus, four scheduled tasks are available. These can be used to automate SpyBot scans, updates, immunization as well as most recently used file scans. By default the three main tasks are enabled during SpyBot's installation. You can add, remove or edit these scheduled tasks directly through the Windows Task Scheduler or access it using SpyBot settings. To view the SpyBot tasks, first open up SpyBot by right clicking on the SpyBot desktop icon then choose Run as Administrator. Select Yes when prompted by the user account control then click on Show Details once the Start Center is loaded. Click on Advanced User Mode if it has not already been ticked then click on Settings. Next, click on the Schedule tab where you can view all of SpyBot's scheduled tasks. The first task shown is the most recently used files task. This scans all of the most recently used files for malware infections. This task is not added by default so you can add this task if you wish by clicking on the Add button. Clicking the Add button will open up the Windows Task Scheduler. For now we are going to close the Task Scheduler. If you would like to remove an already added task then you can delete it by clicking the remove button. The next task is the update task. This task will run the SpyBot updater and download the latest detection rules used by the system scan to detect malware. By default this task is set to run 3 minutes after your PC has started. Beside each task it lists when the task was last run and when it is next scheduled to run. Next is a scan task. This task will open the system scan and check your system for any malware infections. A system scan is scheduled to run on the first of every month. The settings window lists an option for the scan task to close when no malware is found. There is also an option to run the task silently which will not display any progress to the user. Select this option if you would like the task to run in the background. The final task is the immunization task which is scheduled to run every Wednesday by default. This task will immunize your system and prevent you from entering malicious websites and immunizes against bad cookies, installations and pop-ups. This task also has the option to run silently in the background. You can edit an existing task by clicking on the edit button. We are going to edit the scan task. Clicking the edit button will also open up the Windows Task Scheduler. In the top left corner click the arrow beside the Task Scheduler Library folder then click the arrow beside the Safer Networking folder. Click on SpyBot Search and Destroy then click on the Scan the System task. You can edit the task by right clicking on it and selecting properties. The first tab is the general tab. This gives a description of the task and allows you to choose whether to run the task if a user is logged in or not. Or if you would like the task to run with the highest privileges so that it takes priority over other tasks. Next is the triggers tab. This shows the criteria for when a task is run such as the date and time and how often it should run. You can edit this by clicking on the edit button. You can select from the drop down menu when you would like the task to run based on a schedule or you can select other options such as at logon or at startup. If you would like the task to run weekly instead of monthly you can select this using this window. The next tab is the actions tab. This shows the criteria for when a task is run such as the date and time and how often it should run. You can view the available parameters by going to the spybot help file then click on parameters then click on the desired module. The next tab is the Conditions tab. Here you can choose certain conditions such as waking up the PC to run the task. Next is the Settings tab. This lists additional settings for the task such as allowing the task to run on demand. The final tab is the History tab. Task History must be enabled to view the task's history. Once you have finished editing the task, click on OK to save the changes and to close the task properties. So that's it for today's video on configuring the SpyBot tasks. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any comments or queries, please get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team SpyBot. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you guys soon.